It's just titled question mark. What's going on there? What's happening? It's a long video. No spoil what is to come. So go into full screen mode and let me show you what it's about. Because I promise you, it's gonna blow your mind. You pulls up nice. Thank you, Russian. Discovery that literally no one else has ever found. No matter how much I try to look it up, there's never any results. Wow's no darkest secrets searches, or secret. No YouTube videos, nothing. And that's pretty damn surprising, considering this is a game from 2004 that we're talking about here. Hey, what? This is the vanilla WoW world map. As you can see, there's only two continents, oh. Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor. Let me ask you a question. Out of all the zones in these two continents... I mean, if you're probably fine, most I'll just join and then play the game. Give you a few seconds to think about it. Wait, oh, what did I say? I'll give you a few seconds to think about it. Which was more forgettable? More forgettable. All the zones in these two continents. What's the most forgettable zone, dude? Feralis? Yeah. I mean, there are some pretty forgettable ones, man. Well, I don't know. Let's see what he says. Alright, time's up. I imagine that the vast majority of people probably answered with Desolus, Silithus, Alterac Mountains, Deadwind Pass, you know, the usual suspect. Dude, Deadwind Pass is awesome. Vanilla WoW that literally everyone knows about, but is almost universally forgotten. And that zone is Stone Talon Mountains. Stone Talon Mountains is a contested zone that shares a border with the Barrens. Wait, so, yo, Susuma said that. Yo, Susuma, you're cheating. Have I ever been there? I don't even know. Stone Time Mountains. The fact that it's a contested zone is quite interesting in of itself, as despite there being many low-level horde quests available, I'm sponsored in vanilla quests. See, players, there's almost nothing at all. I'm five at dude. Were you fact, cheating? I'd be willing to bet that if you're an alliance main like me, you've probably never even been here before. Yeah, I, I, I think I've ever been there before. Unusual design. I think I've never been there before, man. Nothing else like it in the game. It's essentially one giant valley that connects to three different open chasms that are completely different to one another. Due to the zone's odd layout and frustrating quests, even many Horde players tend to skip it entirely when leveling. But I'm not here to talk about the zone or even its quests, but something I wasn't born yet? Dude, weird. come on, man. We all know that WoW I'm a boomer. Night cycle that is in sync I'm actually so old. Zone. If it's daytime in real life, then it will be daytime in game too. If it's nighttime in real life, then it will be nighttime in game too. A zone's atmosphere can change significantly depending on whether it's day or night. But this is true as special. My cues popped. My cues popped. We'll get back to the video in a moment. Stone just start the video. <laughs> just start the video again. Stone Talon Mountains just looks and feels like a pretty typical looking. It's place. about the biggest secret route, apparently. A bit of grass. Fast there. game. It's a fast game, Pulsio. It's a fast game. This zone. And the way it feels to be in it almost completely changes. From the hours of midnight to 5 a.m., music no longer plays in the zone. Instead, all you can hear is this strange wind ambience that sounds really freaky. That's freaky. What's I mean, it's just wind, but is that at night, maybe it's... the entire zone has this creepy red tint to it for seemingly no reason. And there's a ton of fog that limits how far you can see. Not sure if you can really notice it here, but the difference when it's daytime is really, well, night and day. Now, obviously, when I first discovered this, is that scary though? Just it's kind of monka, yeah. Are. Why is it like this? No other zone has effects like these at night. It just okay, it's, it's like a unique thing, yeah. Weird. And again, no matter how much I looked into it, no one had an answer. But that's not even why I'm making this. Because, yeah, it's weird. But it could just be some sort of attempt at atmospheric immersion. No, I'm making this because of a strange phenomenon that kept happening to my character. <laughs> for mature audiences? If you know me, I think I'm too, too young for this video, man. Nocturnal, as in, Monka. seriously, nocturnal. I'm always up at night and in the early hours of the morning because... Dude, that's actually me, though. I'm also nocturnal. Because that's just how I like it. As a result, whenever I play WoW, it's always in the dark. That's how I noticed how weird Stone Talon Mountains was in the first place. 
In classic WoW, I had an From his 4 a.m. yeah, or like 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. instead. I would level up to see what the Horde side of the game was like. Just a way to relax and see what I would have otherwise missed out on on my Alliance main. Stone Talon Mountains was one of the zones I ended up leveling in. I remember being taken aback at what a weird, almost psychedelic dream. I think I've never been there, man. Like. I've never it been to Stone Town Mountains. Where a nightmare would take place. And no clue. But again, I didn't think anything of it until this happened. This is oh, a shit. screenshot I took at 2:14 a.m. on the 20th of October, 2020. I'm in the Windshear Crag part of the zone, and as you can see, this video. Character is it's dead. just called question mark. You're probably thinking that a mob must have got me or something. Oh, there it is. But no. The reason I took this screenshot is because my character just died instantly for no reason whatsoever. I was just running around doing some quest when he just dropped dead. At first I thought that maybe a high level Suppose, zone yeah. could it's got me something. then vanished or something, but I didn't see any. And according to my combat log, not <laughs> That's a happened. dark turn events, yeah. It's kind of crazy. I kept this screenshot because I thought I would put it in a he future production of mine as, at the time, there was a lot of uproar about how badly Blizzard maintained Classic WoW. With there being a ton of bots and gold sellers flying around. Dude, we should go there afterwards and see. Be out of the ordinary Investigate like ourselves. Too, as, after all, this is Blizzard we're talking about here. Either way, I rezzed up and carried on Wait, with Blizzard bugs? Wait, what? before heading off for the huh? night. 24 hours later, and I am, once again, questing in the Windshear Crag. Everything was going smoothly, until once again, bam. It happened again. This is a freaking Instant flashbang death, effect, man. No combat log, just dead. I had never experienced anything quite like this. I mean, yeah, WoW could be buggy, but it's never been this bad. I looked back at the screenshot I took the night before and noticed something really oh. unusual. The time of death... It's like a ghost somewhere or something, man. Exactly the same. Two fourteen. Oh shit, dude! That was just way too much of a coincidence to ignore. I tried to make a post on R slash Classic Wow to ask if anyone knew what kept happening to my character. It's kind of sketchy. It was like like a ghost removed, every night at two fourteen. No reason. He comes and kills so, you something. Yeah, pretty standard. L like I some evil spirits. This was way too much of a coincidence to ignore. So I conjured a plan. The next night at two fourteen a.m. I would have my recorder on, just in case my character died again, so that I would have proof of this oh, weird shit. bug in action. The following is what I captured. <laughs> it's just like a, some paranormal uh, activity uh, video or something. Monka W. Am I looking around for some kind of creature, like sneaking up on him? Some kind of ghostly creature. I waited around for a few minutes longer, but it just wasn't happening. I figured that it really must have been just a weird coincidence. Feeling disappointed, I turned off my recorder and carried on questing. But then, boom. Then he died. <laughs> it happened again. This time at 2.47 a.m. Hey, yo, three what? deaths in a row on three different days. But why was this one at a different time than the others? The only difference I noticed between the last shot and the first two is that on the last one, I was at the Charred Vale part of the zone, whereas with the first two, I was in the Windshear Crag. So, I had another idea. Different and times for different Windshear places Crag in the zone. At 2.14 a.m. and I had my recorder on then instead. Maybe there, it would happen again. So, once again, I set my character there. It was a full moon way, really? Hold. We just got our clothes on. Yeah, we should do that reaction. We should, we should. He's gonna die. It's gonna happen. There's no way he's not gonna die right now. Holy Damn. shit. I now had video Jeez. evidence of this so-called bug in <laughs> Video action. evidence, Honestly, man. At this oh, point, God, be... I was starting to think there has to be something more to this. Out of curiosity, I wondered that if I went to the Charred Vale at 2.47 again, if it would happen there too. Dude, sure. I want to go there. Investigate yeah. myself. Uh, maybe it's not on like retail still though. Dude, he's like spending like in the days, you know, like going back there. Vale. I didn't them. know what it was, but for some reason, 
at those times, my character would always just drop dead. It was as if there was an invisible GM playing some sort of practical joke or something like that. But we're not done yet. At the very top of the zone lies the third chasm, the Stone Talon Peak. A very leafy and soothing place compared to the other two. I wondered if the weird. This guy's slowest level I've ever too. seen here. <laughs> sure enough, they did. Oh Two shit! 28 a.m. I tested this again the next day, and it happened yet again. 2:14 a.m. in the Windshear Crag. 2:47 a.m. in. It's the gonna form bay. some kind of like pattern. 2:28 in the stone. Or something. Peak. Every night. Some kind of code. Times, my character would die without failure or explanation. It would never happen in the valley part of the zone. Only in the chasms. The triangle, it is. I've seen this before. This wasn't a coincidence. I'm sure you have, and I'm sure you have. I tried to see if anyone else was in the zone at the same time as me, but literally no one ever was. Who cares? Not I mean, it's fun. As this I care. Is on Dragon uh, it's good times. Which is, yeah, a very dead server to say the least. None of my friends still played, so I couldn't exactly ask them to get a subscription just to test this. And whenever I would ask other people to come to Stone Talon Mountain so that I could watch them drop dead, they were surprisingly uncooperative. <laughs> I decided to do some hardcore research to see if anyone else. Oh, friends! I, I feel like Classic's kind of dead now, man. Like entire internet for even another. Like, like you know, um, not TBC, but, but the first one. I feel like no one's playing that anymore. Nothing. Well, not like uh, is anyone playing two Classic? Years ago, back when Classic WoW launched, an old Blizzard developer who had long since left the company, Mike Crond. Did a Mike Q and on the r slash wow subreddit, whereby he answered people's questions about what it was like developing the vanilla game. Some service, yeah. In his opening remarks, yeah. he mentioned that he was behind zones such as Desolus, Feralas, Ashenvale, and Stone Town Mountains. Stone Town Mountains. Oh my God! Despite no way. Q and A being two years ago now, I noticed that Mike was very active on Reddit, albeit almost always posting about non-wow related stuff. Now, I'm not usually one to pry, but man, Wait, what was that? anyone knew what was going on mountains. Despite the Q&A being two years ago now, I noticed this? that Mike was very active on Reddit, albeit almost always posting about non-WoW related. I got dumped by my boyfriend for being an, an atheist. The what? It's stuff. Now, I'm not usually one to pry, but man, what if was anyone that? knew what was going on here, it would be this guy. And I'm in way too deep to quit now. <laughs> you said damn, that sucks, yeah. To ask. So I did. Now, oh. I'm going to be honest. I had no idea how to open a conversation with a guy who I don't know and who doesn't know me. I'm not a journalist. I'm a WoW player. By nature, I'm very antisocial and tend not to talk to people unless they talk to me. But this guy wasn't just going to talk to me by himself. So I decided to try to play it cool. <laughs> Didn't want to come off as too pushy or anything like that. So I said, hey there. Is it true you worked on Vanilla WoW back in the day? Honestly, I didn't expect to get an answer. But shockingly enough, he responded almost instantly. <laughs> the best skill is doing. Yup. Well, it's better than nothing, I guess. The yep. ice was broken. I just had a question about one of the zones. Nothing serious. Just some trivia that I wondered if you could answer. Two minutes later... Shoot. Oh shit. Talkative guy. I've been on Classic WoW recently and leveling up in Stone Talon Mountains. I've noticed that for some reason, my character dies at set times in the early hours of the morning for seemingly no reason. I know it sounds bonkers, but do you have any idea why that is? It's been driving me crazy. <laughs> is that a pun? Nah. No. After I asked this, the guy just went completely what video? silent. I'll be honest, it's over. I was pretty pissed off. If anyone would know why, it would be this guy. And he just bailed on me for no reason. Wait, what did he say? All hope was lost. Did he don't wall him? Just went completely silent. Been on Wait, he just don't wall him, dude. It is the answer him. Damn. I mean, to be fair, like if you were the dev that made this like mysterious thing that like no one can explain, I mean, you probably want to keep it that way, right? Recently, like, and leveling up in Stone Talon Mountain. It's kind of fun. I've noticed that for some reason, <laughs> my run, run ever since. Yeah. In the early hours of the morning, for seemingly he's no bounced. Reason. I know it sounds bonkers, actually don't know but do you have any idea why that is? It's been driving me crazy for days now. After I asked this, the guy just went completely silent. I'll be honest, I was pretty pissed off. If anyone would know why, it would be this guy, and he just bailed on me for no reason. I figured that all hope was lost and that I'd never know what was behind this, and with my limited audience, there was no way I could make a big enough deal out of it to try to get people to figure it out. 
So, case closed. Uh, all the I orc models, man. Audience, there was holy camoli. No way I could make a big enough deal out Jeez. of it to try to get people to figure it out. So the nails, yeah. Case closed, I guess. Everything. Or so, I thought. I am not joking with you. Ten months later, I get Wait, another message from. Mike. This was ten months ago. The message literally just said, "The SoCal Lady Killer." The oh, fuck. I'm like, what? This guy's no like the, the Riddler or something, man. Guy just goes completely He's from the, quiet. Yo, again. what? The SoCal Lady Killer? What the heck was that? I thought that perhaps he had meant to message someone else, and this was sent to me by accident. Decided to look into it, and this is what came up. The SoCal Lady Killer is the nickname given to an unidentified serial killer who is believed to be behind the murder of three women. I was from like California. went from the a video game to actual real life serial killer. Though there is no direct evidence that links the three murders together, the modus operandi of the killer was seemingly identical in all of the cases. <laughs> it got dark, yeah. What the fuck? In almost identical fashion each huh? time. The three women, all of which were prostitutes, were believed to be lured to a secluded area by the killer. Is the dev the killer or what? Murdered. Again, I had no idea what this had to do with what I asked. Until I read this part. The Jeez. first victim was 28-year-old Whitney Fangson. On the 2nd of August, 1995... Don't tell me she was killed. Body was found on the 2.14 a.m. ...of the wind shear lumber mill. Police reports state that she was officially declared dead... Dude, what the fuck? ...at 2.14 a.m. 2.14 a.m. Four months later, on the 5th of December, 1995, 25-year-old Sophie Riven was found in an almost identical state at a hotel room in the nearby village of Los Charred. Police report Char Dude, this is getting so sus actually. At 2:47 a.m. The third and final victim was 32-year-old Amy Rasan, who 2 months later on the 17th of February 1996 was found dead by climbers at the base of Sockle Peak. Stone Town Peak state that she was declared dead at 2:28 a.m. This is like Shea Lumber Mill. Wait, was the ba the circular was like never found, right? This is getting really basis sketchy, dude. Was he the killer? Crack. Was the dev the Lost killer? Charred was the basis for the Chard Vale. Sockle Peak was the basis for Stone Talon Peak. In addition, the timing of the victims' deaths correlates exactly with the timing of my characters. The mystery had been solved. The seemingly random deaths are an easter egg referencing the SoCal Lady Killer. But... That's a pretty weird easter egg, don't you think? I went to ask Mike what on earth made him want to add that in the game. But again, I got no response. But this <laughs> time... Don't want again, man. What you the see, fuck? in the past when I was blanked, Mike was still actively using Reddit obsessively on a daily basis. But what if he, like, finds message, the killer, like, you know, busts him with this Not thing? Not many people know this, but the state of California actually has an online public database of all its residents that states basic information about them, such as their criminal record, okay. driving viability, and yes, whether they are dead or alive. Well, Yo, you're never him? gonna believe what I found. Michael John Crond, 54, death by suicide. On the 13th of August, 2021, Dude, the what? exact same day that he last messaged me. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Crond, World of Warcraft developer from 2004 to 2006, Dude. was the SoCal Lady Killer. Stone Talon Mountain, what the, the fuck? Which he designed. What? That, that's actually so insane. Wait, this guy that made this zone <laughs> is nothing and this more. YouTuber just busted him and then he took his own life. It's a the joke. Direct reference to the crimes he committed. What was posted? What was posted, man? Wait, should, should, should I show the, the, the date there? Wait, huh? 
by an adjoining blizzard. It is an open mockery of his victims, hiding the truth in plain sight while taking great pleasure in how no one else can see it. Typical serial killer behavior. <sighs> but if you aren't convinced yet, then let me show you this. Every single chasm has a <laughs> I can't pause it now. that is a direct uh, reference yeah. to one of the victims. Fangson died Yo, Morty, how's going? This is good. Lumber mill. What's up, Morty? Meanwhile, in the Wimshire Crag, there's an NPC called Taskmaster Whipfang. Sophie Riven died in Lost Charred. Meanwhile, in the Charred Vale, there's an NPC called... This is Sister sketchy, man. I actually could not see the uh, release date, though. Rassan died on the base of Sokol Peak. Meanwhile, oh, in Stone show. Talon Peak, there's an NPC called Sentinel. The money, we're right, this, this is like the darkest secret in WoW. So basically, so far, there's a stone, like dead stone, stone town mountains in, uh, in WoW. And uh, in the stone, like you die like a ran or like at a certain time in, a, in different zones. And it's basically this like guy that was a dev that's apparently a serial killer who's like Easter egging it. Rassan. But the I mean, <laughs> some something's up, man. I don't really know, the dude. Zone, the Sunrock Retreat Real? is an NPC I don't called know, Krond. Krond, the Butcher. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this, man? So the question you're probably asking yourself is, why? Why would he commit suicide? Well, the answer becomes crystal clear if we go back to the SoCal Lady Killer's wiki page. It reads. After being a cold case for over 25 years, on the 2nd of August 2021, LAPD Police Chief Ed Jens announced that the SoCal Lady Killer case had been reopened due to advances in forensic technology that may help finally bring the victim some justice. Mike so, Kron Jepson, yeah. knew that he was about to be found out. Thus, he ended his own life as to escape justice. But folks, do you want to know the worst part about all I feel of this? Like you wouldn't joke about this, you know? The worst part is... I just made all that up. Alright, right. never mind. Mike <laughs> would. Krond is not a serial killer. I, fact, he, Mike he, he Krond would, I isn't guess, even it. real. Hell, his picture isn't even real. It was generated by an AI. There's no such thing as the SoCal Lady Killer. And my character didn't even die randomly Jeez. in the Stone Talon Mountains. I just got a friend of mine to use the neutral auction house to trade me a dark rune. Hell, even the character isn't even the same. Jeez, so, man. The question you must be asking is, why? Why did I make <laughs> up this entire fuck, story? Oh well, you see, God. it's simple. If I can come up with an interesting and somewhat believable story that grips people enough to keep them listening for 20 minutes about the pissing stone talon mountains, no less, then Blizzard has no excuse to not write a good story of their own. Especially with their ridiculously overpaid writing team. Dude, like when he like revealed like the whole, like him killing himself and stuff, like I thought it was real at that point. I was like, this this is too serious to like just be a joke, you know? I was like, wait, no fucking way, wow but. Wow team, get it together, you absolute amateurs. Damn. Then he clowns on Blizzard. That's a good video though. That was actually a good one. The butcher part? Yeah, yeah. No, it was good. That, that was a good video, man. That was a good video. It got us hard, dude. He actually did, man. Dude, I actually like, never really did like a react Andy video. 